In this video, we will demonstrate the process of performing a tidy 3D simulation for a large photonic integrated circuit component, specifically an eight-channel polarization and mode multiplexer. The device structure will be imported directly from a GDS file, and we will proceed to set up the simulation domain, sources, monitors, and grid. Additionally, we will utilize the Mode Solver plugin to confirm the mode profile at the mode source. Finally, we submit the simulation job to Flex Compute's cloud server. Once the simulation is complete in just a few minutes, we will visualize the field distribution and plot the transmission spectrum to obtain a comprehensive understanding of the simulation results. First, we import the necessary packages. We will import NumPy for numerical calculation, matplotlib for plotting, gdstk for GDS file import, and most importantly, Tidy3D. For this device, we are interested in a wavelength range of 1500 nanometer to 1600 nanometer. We now define the simulation wavelength range as well as the corresponding frequency range. Next, we define the silicon layer thickness as well as the refractive indices of silicon and oxide. Now we are ready to load a cell from the GDS file. Convert the cell to Tidy3D poly slabs with the height of silicon layer thickness. And finally, define Tidy3D structures from the poly slabs. We can easily inspect the imported structures. The plot indeed shows the correct eight channel multiplexer device. Now that we have the structures defined, we move on to define sources and monitors. In this simulation, we define a mode source at one of the input ports, launching the TE0 mode. One flux monitor at the bus waveguide is created to measure transmission. One field monitor at Z equals zero plane is created to help visualize the field distribution. Now we define a tidy 3D simulation. Here we use an automatic non-uniform grid at minimal steps per waveguide of 15. PML is applied in all boundaries to absorb the outgoing radiation. Before running the simulation, we can also use the mode solver to inspect the mode profile launched at the mode source. Here we see the TE0 mode as intended. It's also a good practice to visualize the simulation setup before submitting the job to the server. Once everything looks good, we only need to make a simple web API call to submit the job. A large simulation like this only takes about five minutes. After the simulation is done, results are automatically returned. First, let's plot the field intensity distribution. From the plot, we can see the TE0 mode launched at the seventh input port gets converted to the TE1 mode at the bus waveguide. More quantitatively, from the transmission spectrum, we see a nearly 100% transmission at the central wavelength. Similarly, we can launch a mode source at other input ports to inspect the mode conversion efficiencies. This demo illustrates the basic workflow of modeling a photonic integrated circuit component. You can easily adapt this workflow to simulate your own device by harnessing the unprecedented efficiency of Tidy3D.